Hello and welcome to this new and exciting tutorial where we are going to learn how to use Zip Recruiter to get a job. You'll go to ziprecruiter.co.uk and then at the top corner here, you notice we have job seekers and we have employers. So the employers is for people who want to create jobs and for the job seekers, this is where you can get your job. If you have an account, you will log in, but in case you don't have an account, you click on create profile. You'll then come and fill in your address here, your email address, your name here, and then you fill these other details, which include your password, and then you click on create profile. And this now will be creating a profile for you, and then you can now put the keywords here, you pick a topic you're interested in, and then Zip Recruiter will be able to send you sample work or sample jobs that are available. So I want work to do with video editing. And then for the location, I can retain it as Nairobi, Kenya. I can retain it as Nairobi, Kenya. And now you notice I'm here already. And then you'll go back to your email and verify your account. You notice here I have the Zip Recruiter email. You click on that and then you click on confirm my email. And then after that now, you will come here and now start searching for the jobs. For instance, if you notice what I'll do here, I'll type job video editor. If I click on search, you'll notice that currently there are no jobs found. The reason for this is I have selected a location here that possibly doesn't have such a job. But if it's a remote job, I don't need to select the location here. So I'm just going to close the location and then I'm also going to ignore the distance, but search for the same, same thing. I'll click on search, the same video editor. You now notice we have so many jobs. We have 1,032 jobs for video editor. Now you scroll down, you can see the details of each job, the amount, and then the details like this one for junior video editor. It's about a social media agency. You can view all the jobs plus the days they were posted. The jobs that are posted latest come at the top here. You notice these two were posted on 12th and on 14th November respectively. And if you go down, you notice we have August, we have November and all going down all the way. So if you want now to create an alert for your job, you come here and click on create an alert so that an alert will be created for your job. And then you notice now your email has been successfully signed up for job alerts. So you can send the alert in terms of video editors so that once any job is posted, it will be sent to your email. And then the next thing you need to know is down here, you notice we have the jobs. So if you want to apply for the jobs, you are going to click on the specific job you want to apply for. For instance, we want to apply for this for junior video editor. You will click on that and then it will redirect you to LinkedIn where now the job, you can apply for the job. So you notice our job is here, junior video editor. You can see all the details, the number of employees here, the budget here, the type of work. This is a hybrid but full-time. And then now, it was apply. It was posted five days ago. You can see the number of applicants, over 100 applicants. And then you can look at the hiring team here. We have all these details about the job. You can see about us. If you want to read more, you click on see more about this job. We are leading social media agency. All the details are given here about the job, about the role. It's described here. All the details you basically need about this job are here. Then you can come and view the pay range. It's important that you know the exact competition uh, based on your skill. And then you can come down here to see if you match whatever in your profile matches that job. For instance, on my skills, you notice here it's written five skills on my profile match that job and five skills are missing. For instance, Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut Pro, all these are matching. But you notice there are these skills that are missing from my profile, but are highlighted on that job. Graphic design, long form, social media, sound design, and visual effects. So this also gives you an idea that if maybe, for instance, you are a video editor, these are some of the keywords that may also 
make you more marketable for this job. And because it's free to edit, you can always edit your skills in case you had these skills, but you had not added them to your profile. So to apply now for this job, you'll come to the top here and then you click on easy apply. In case you scroll down, the easy apply comes to the top right corner here. So you can click on it also on the left hand side here, easy apply. With this one, you will now have to select your contact information, your email, you can select an option here. You can enter a valid email like this one. You can enter your phone code, your country code, then you can enter your phone number here and then you click on next. And then here you can now upload your resume. This will be your CV. This way you upload your CV. You notice here I already have my CV. I want to upload CV3. You click on open. You click on the CV you want to upload. You notice now our CV is uploading. And the good thing with uploading the CV is that your CV will be, will be available for use the next time you apply for a job. So you can click on upload and then you click on next. So here, this is where you now answer these additional questions. How many years of work experience do you have with Adobe Premiere? How many years of editing short content? These are the questions that have been asked by the person who posted the job. So I'm just going to put sample answers, just one, two, three, so that I can show you the review. So this is now how your job application will look like. It will have your contact information at the top here. It will have your CV, your resume, and then it will have the answers to your question, the ones you have answered here. If you don't want to repeat answering these questions the next time, if they are the same, you can click on follow and spin so that this will automatically save your answers and resume to pre-fill in future applications. If you're not satisfied with your application, you click on submit application. And that is how you simply use Zip Recruiter to get jobs and to apply for jobs. You can always come at the top here, as I said, and search for any niche that you want to search for, be it, for instance, you want to search for medicinal chemist. And if you want to be very specific for a location, you can type your location here, and then you can go for the distance. Maybe this is a physical job, you don't want to go for more than 50 miles, you click on 50 miles, then you click on search. So you can always adjust this, depending on what you want in terms of location, in terms of the distance, and in terms of the category. You can also come to your profile here. You can view your user settings here, and you can always change your email. You can always change your password. And then in case you also want to view your profile, you can click on manage profile. You can upload your picture here. You can uh, view your email subscriptions and all the settings that you would need here. I hope this has been helpful. That is how you use ZipRecruiter to get a job. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.